Hi guys, I'm Di Hua from Wiser Biker and today I'm going to do a very special project. Now, I am finally going to build my own carbon fiber bike. Not only that it's my first carbon fiber bike, but it is also special because all the components comes from AliExpress. Ta -da! All these things are selected with very, very careful considerations. Okay, and I'll explain to you when I show you the individual items. So without further ado, let's take a look at the items and starting with the main dish of the day, which is the frame set. I've got my new carbon fiber frame set here. It is a Chinese carbon fiber frame set from Sarah. Oh, wow. So it is actually well wrapped up. Oh, here we go. Oof. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And the main frame set as well as the handlebar. Okay, so every inch is being wrapped up by foam here and uh, well, scotch tape all around. Well, it's going to be a bit troublesome to remove all these wrappings, but well, I'd rather have them. And I appreciate this being wrapped up so tightly so that all the custom paint job won't be damaged. Okay, I'm really excited now because I've chosen a paint job, a custom paint job that I really, really like. Wow, look at this. I've gotten a chameleon color and it's bluish as well, purplish, depending on which angle you look at it. So from this angle I'm looking at, it's actually purple. But if I look at it from the front, it's blue. Oh, wow. And we have like a big logo here, the Seraph logo. And it is in a brush metallic silver color. Yeah, yummy, isn't it? Wow. Now I am really, really impressed by the paint work that I'm getting here. And you would have probably realized by now that this is an arrow frame. Look at this, the Changi down tube. All right, it's also arrow as well as the seat tube here. So another chunky and bladed seat tube. Even if I don't really ride that fast, at least the bike must look fierce and fast. So the complete set also comes with the fork as well as a one-piece handlebar and a seat post and they are all carbon. I've got here with a one-piece handlebar, the stem length here is 100mm and the width is 400 mm and the cables runs internally so other than the big components here are the small accessories that comes in the bubble envelope the frame that i've chosen here is the ttx 34 model and the price is 530 usd which is equivalent to 726 singapore dollars and for the custom paint jobs like this it costs another 100 USD. And shipping price uh, all the way to Singapore is 50 USD. And as for the tire clearance, this can support up to 30 mm, and which is perfect for us because in our mind, we have already decided to use 28 mm tire. The fork weighs 388.4 gram. The handlebar weighs 342.6 gram. The seat post is 254.4 gram. For size 52 frame, it weighs 1,190 gram. All right, guys, this is the skeleton of the bike. So, and it is just a really brief preview of how the eventual bike will actually look like. We've just opened the first component. I'm really so excited. Now, this is the second one. The group set we have selected here is the L2 RX hydraulic group set. It's a 2 by 12 speed and it's carbon fiber group set. All right, so we have got the shifter here. Okay, so first thing that catches my eye is this carbon fiber brake lever here. It looks really nice and it's it's not thin, it's actually quite thick here. So you can actually grip it really well. And this is the shift lever. Another of shift lever is over here. It's the same as the right. But I really like this gold logo here, L2. Finishings are nice and neat. Finally, we have a Chinese company making hydraulic group sets. So a very good substitute to the mainstream Shimano and SRAM. 
and I really want to use hydraulic brakes for the road bike because they are smoother and brakes better. Next, we got the front derailleur here. Now, the front derailleur does not have any carbon fiber parts on it. Something new here to me. Now, what is this? Uh, well, <laughs> I think I'll figure that out when I build it. And here's the rear derailleur. And here we have a pulley cage made of carbon fiber. The gold logo of L2RX 12 speed here. And even the boat here is gold. It feels solid and the finishing is well done. Wow, so far this is really impressive. I am I'm happy with the make of the derailers. It also comes with a bottle of hydraulic brake oil and a bag of accessories. The pair of shifters weigh 588.7 gram. The front derailleur weighs 100 gram. The rear derailleur weighs 219 gram. The pair of calibers weigh 343 gram. Alright, so this is the group set we're going to use. Again, it is L2 RX2 by 12 speed. The next major component is the wheel set we've got here, and it's carbon fiber wheel set. And yes, obviously, it's going to be Elite wheels for us because uh, I have such a good experience with Elite wheels. So uh, the trust is really there. Uh, and this time around, I've gone for a higher tier of their product, which is the Elite Edge. Okay, so we've got a wheel set here and though the packaging is a little bit damaged, but inside, as far as I see now, looks okay. But let me take a closer look now, starting with the rear wheel here. Wow, okay, the, I, can, I can straight away tell you that uh, once I lift this up, put it in my hand, I can straight away tell that it is lighter than the SLT wheel set. I was using made a lot lighter is significantly lighter now if you can hear this hub sound it sounds totally different from the uh, SLT wheels that we were using because this hub is different it's using star rigids right next is the front wheel now uh yeah i forgot to mention that this is actually a 50 mm deep rim so both front and rear they are 50 mm deep. Yeah, uh, it is true as well. Not affected by the rough handling. This is a good sign. Well, the front wheel weighs 640 gram. As for the rear, it weighs 726.5 gram. Wow, so a pair of these wheels weigh 1,366.5 gram. And the price of this pair of wheels is 600 USD, which is equivalent to 820 Singapore dollars. Honestly, I have a feeling that this is really going to be the best purchase by us so far because at this price point, about 600 USD, we're getting a pair of wheel sets at 50 mm deep for 1,366 gram. This kind of price is hard to come by. I mean, you can hardly find any other alternative in the market that offers at this same price point. All right, so with the major components of the bike already covered, next are a category of components that I uh, would say they are as lightweight as possible. Uh, I mean, within our budget, we try to source for things that is as light as possible. Okay, this category includes, mm, first, the cassette. Now, we're using 12 speed here. So we have chosen this. A, this is from Sunshine. It's a 12 speed cassette. So first up is the cassette. Now this is a very lightweight cassette from Sunshine. So it's a 12 speed cassette, 1132T combination. And the weight of this is 225.4 gram. Now the price of this cassette is 46 USD or roughly about 64 Singapore dollars. And why it is so light for a cassette? So this is really lightweight. I mean, just to give you a comparison, Shimano 105 12 speed weighs 360 gram. We can see from the back that this one, two, three, four, five, for the five cork here, they're actually one whole piece. 
and it is CNC machined. So we can see, and, and all these holes are drilled in evenly to reduce the weight further. So it's obvious that if you look at the side profile that uh, the rest of the cassette cocks here are made of the normal materials that we can see on a usual cassette. Now next I've got the saddle here and this is from Mix and the model number is 7D. So Mix 7D saddle and it's a carbon fiber saddle. Uh, well, <laughs> this is sourced by Brian who is the saddle expert. I mean just because he is exposed to many 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 types of saddles and I think this is one of the things that he came across and he thought that uh, it would be good for this build because it's carbon fiber, it's lightweight and it's not that expensive. It only costs 26 USD which is about 36 Singapore dollars. So we decided to give it a try and see if this carbon saddle really holds. Now at first look, uh, I feel that I mean with that price point in mind, 26 USD, it looks it looks premium. The make is good. There's no loose ends all around. It wraps it well. The finishings are done well and it's very stiff. It's firm and stiff. Over here, we can see a big cut out. This weighs 107.1 gram. Next up, we have a pair of water bottle cage. And uh, to go lightweight, we're gonna have to go carbon. We found quite a number of options on AliExpress. It looks good. It's a little bit difficult to pronounce. It's Balugo. Okay, so this really weighs very, very light. It's 17.6 gram. And the price of this water bottle cage is 13 USD for 18 Singapore dollars a piece. Next, I've got the these rotos. Another name that, uh, how do I pronounce that? Is it 3 Pro or III Pro. It is a center lock disc rotor. Here we got a skeletonized brake surface. So this is meant to increase the contact with air and hence increase the rate of heat dissipation. At the same time, we have these enhanced bolts here. No wonder it feels so firm. The whole disc feels like you can't bend it at all. We also got an aluminum center lock cap here. So it further reduces the weight. And as for the thickness, it's 1.8 mm thick. And I have chosen a 160 mm roto for both front and rear. You know, when we were looking around, we found that z rays actually offer the exact same model as well. Well, but the reason why we have chosen this over z rays is because the center lock cap here has this logo. And if you look from afar, it actually looks Pro. So this roto with the center lock cap weighs 146.5 gram. And the price for one of this is 15 USD for 21 Singapore dollars. All right, and since we are so on about being pro, of course we have to use no, 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 no. <laughs> Corsa Pro. Okay, now this, this is really something, this is really something good, okay? Not only because of the weight, but because of the performance. But if you notice, these tires are not cheap. <laughs> Definitely not cheap, they are top of the line. Uh, but we have decided to splurge on them. From our research, we find that they also offer superior performance in terms of their rolling resistance, in terms of their puncture resistance, and of course, it's super lightweight. So the breakthrough in the technology here is vulcanizing the rubber onto a cotton casing. And because of that, they're able to eliminate the use of a glue layer, hence reducing the rolling resistance and at the same time, improving the overall performance. And well, that's not just a um, claim from Victoria, but also there are data that supports it. And the fact that pro teams are winning races using them as well actually tells a lot. And well, let's see if it works on a commoner like me. So I've got here is a 700 by 28 C tire. This is tubeless ready. I can definitely tell that by just touching this, it feels a lot more firm and robust as compared to the previous version, which is the Corsa Control. The cotton layer here definitely feels like an upgrade from the previous version. Now it feels like this don't tear or break that easily. Okay, so a piece of this tire weighs 278.5 grams. 
and the price of this tire is 99 USD a piece or 125 Singapore dollars. Well, while the tire is tubeless ready, but we have decided to use with inner tube because the tire can support to use with tube as well. We have in mind a long-term plan of actually checking the performance of the tire by using it with a tube and then next using it on a tubeless setup to see really what is the difference. And we're using right now TBU inner tubes. Okay, the reason why we have chosen this is because we have used right now TBU tubes for our 4D project. And until now, there's no puncture and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the performance of that as well. So uh, we decided to try on the road bike and see if it can perform as well. So this is 700 by 28C inner tube. It comes with a 65 mm valve. A pair of this TPU tube costs 9 USD or about 12 Singapore dollars. A piece of this weight 33.8 gram. The final category of components are those that we can still afford with the balance of our budget. We try to squeeze out as much quality and as lightweight as possible. And let's see what we've got. First up is the bottom bracket. We have chosen the Cactus bottom bracket. We have heard some good reviews from Cactus because they really specialize in making bottom brackets. And yeah, we decided to give it a try and it is ceramic bearing. What we know, Hambini actually makes really, really good ceramic bottom brackets, but unfortunately we cannot afford that and it is not available on AliExpress, so I have to find alternative and here, I'm not sure how well this uh, ceramic bearing is going to be, but it is a good chance for me to try it and update you after my testing. The price of this is actually 28 USD or 38 Singapore dollars. So this weighs 63.9 gram. So for Crankset, we try to source for something light and uh, of course we can only afford Chinese made <laughs> and we find the Zenix here. Now actually it is under the brand of Sensa. The, it is the PR2 Crankset. It does look a little bit like the SRAM Red. <laughs> a bit of resemblance. I mean it is using the direct mount chain ring as well. And I've got here a setup of 50, 30, 40. Now the design itself is quite similar to that of SRAM system. And the crank arm is 170mm. And the price of this is actually 98 USD, 134 Singapore dollars. The whole set weighs 754.5 gram. Now just a reference for Shimano 105, it weighs 716 gram. And here I've got a bar tape as well. Well, this is an unbranded bar tape. It's just say handle bar tape. But well, nonetheless, it looks good on my bike. The only reason I've chosen it is because of uh, the design, the color. So the bar tape all together weighs 92.7 gram. And this is really, really cheap. It only costs $5.20 USD or $7.20 Singapore dollars. Okay, I think we have covered most of the components left with two. The first is the pedal. Now, I think pedal is something that is very personal. So it really depends on what is your preference. And uh, I mean, even standard bikes don't even come with pedal. But just for your information, I have chosen for myself a Shimano 105. This is the SPD SL pedal. And uh, well, I've chosen it because I find that Shimano is very reliable and 105 has offered a lot of values in it. The price is 116 USD or 159 Singapore dollars. A pair of this pedal weighs 250.6 gram. And finally is the jack wire. Now this is only for the shift cable housing that I'm going to use from this set because everything else already comes with the components itself. The only part I'll be using hence is just the sheet cable housing. And the reason why I have chosen Jack Wire is because it is a reliable brand. I've tried to find this on AliExpress, but they only offer the higher uh, tiers of the uh, Jack Wires. But 
I've used this spot before, the spot version before, and I find it really good and sufficient. Okay, so all the unboxing is done, and uh, so sorry for the mess. This is the usual scene after unboxing. <laughs> okay, and uh, well, uh, up till now, I think we have covered all the components, and it sums up to about 2,100 USD and approximately 2,700 Singapore dollars. If you are interested to know more about the individual components, we have included a spreadsheet in the description below. Inside the spreadsheet, you will find a list of all the components, their weight, their price, and the affiliation link as well. So if you are so keen that you want to buy it, do support our channel by clicking those affiliation links and buy through them. Now, as for the total weight of the bike, I am not sure how it will turn out. I am hoping that it will be below 8.5 kg. And that will only tell by the end of the next video after I am done with the build. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to the build and hopefully it will be a smooth journey because every time we build a bike, there's bound to be hiccups. I just pray and finger cross that this time, we have minimum, minimum hiccups. All right, uh, that's all I've got for you today. So a lot, a lot of things to take in. And if you have any questions, do put in the comment box below. We try to answer to you as soon as possible. Okay, Adiwa, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.